Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 12th of June for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you some standout details that we can all collectively relate to, but please stay with me. I will explore in much greater detail all the ins and outs of each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. This is very much a community. If you have any ideas or thoughts, please share them. I try to interact with most. And also, if you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the subscription link underneath this video. Now this week sees a battle between the senses of logic and emotion. The logic comes from the fact that the Sun is in the sign of Gemini, but was joined late last week by Mercury, the ruler of this sign. This probably is going to see a speeding up in the way we do share information, but both Saturn and Neptune are in house 12, the sign of Pisces, which of course is watery. So we've got the watery energies and restrictive vibe of Saturn applying to the logic and air of the Sun and Mercury in Gemini. So what does this mean? Well, essentially, because Saturn uh, is influencing Mercury, it's possible that our nervous systems can be a little bit uh, uh, more limited. We may not have quite as much physical energy as we'd like. Could feel more easily weary, stressed. But the Sun's clash with Neptune can be very draining, but also rather disorientating. It's possible that past energies or past events, because Pisces is the sign of culmination, can somehow inform our viewpoints in the here and now or those of the people that we encounter. I don't think that this is the best of weeks to be showing any sensitive or confidential issues with people we don't know very well. Social media in general can seem quite overwhelming and quite draining too. So the best thing that we can do is stay very much in touch with what our more perceptive, emotional and psychological senses are trying to tell us and don't relate too quickly through our responses with the Sun and Mercury in the sign of Gemini. Now, please stay with me for your individual zodiac sign. However, if you would like to ascend above your horoscope forecast and embrace the wonder of more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I will provide for you your life roadmap report. This will give you a much more intimate understanding of the patterns of influence that have played out in your life so far. In my special package of 30% off, you can also get your 12 month personal forecast. Please see the link beneath this video for more information on this and to order. If you don't know your time, you can buy my solar package, also the life roadmap and the forecast, and also with 30% off by seeing the link beneath this video too. So Capricorn, your week commencing the 12th of June forecast begins with Mercury moving into the most precise part of your situation. This is brilliant for grappling with details. Now you've had a very creative set of influences feeding into your situation of late. Mercury and the Sun now give you an opportunity to take the best of these and to shape them into something more tangible and lasting. It's just that your ruler Saturn applies to Mercury, which could create some frustration or some brittleness, and Neptune applies to the new moon at the end of this week. So just when you're trying to really uh, decide on your priorities and try to create a plan. There could be a little bit of tension that creeps in, possibly by trying to be too virtuous, trying too hard, or perhaps just a, a lot of demands come in all at once. With Venus and Mars in the very deep eighth house of your situation, that's brilliant if you want to think about longer term finances, because 
the precision that the Sun and Mercury can give you allied to Venus and Mars is a good mix but just be aware that Saturn again is applying to Venus so I feel that your thinking could be a little bit worrisome this week or it would be easier to see your glasses being somewhat more half empty but you still have really good influences in the sign of Taurus which give you a lot of encouragement to stay as relaxed as possible and just show people how talented you can be so I just think it's about setting to those priorities as I mentioned and not trying to cram in too much keeping it quite simple but if you can just strip it down and approach things in that way I actually feel you could create a lot of traction this week even though that your ruler does go into a retrograde on Saturday as it does annually through to the 4th of November but that's just asking you to think very carefully about some of your ideas express your ideas clearly and slowly don't rush things in fact the whole of this week really is about setting your priorities and sometimes in life, it seems to me that the more gadgets and gizmos and labour-saving devices we have, the less time we seem to have. So I think if you can just really focus on what's truly essential, this week can actually see you really make progress. Mm -hmm.